Here in the Pacific Northwest, we have an abundance of small year-round springs. Springs are an excellent resource for home and community-scale water supply, especially for high-quality drinking water. This video highlights a spring development project we recently completed on a client's property for drinking water, livestock water supply, and a gravity-fed source for firefighting. So here is the spring system. Pretty much completely obscured by rocks. And so we, we found this site here right at the very top of the drainage. And it's right under the roots of this big old Douglas fir tree and maple. And not far from the top of the woods where it opens up into that kind of grassy meadow up there. So there's a steep hill that comes down and then it starts to sort of flatten out, relatively speaking, here and this is where the water begins. Just coming out of this fissure and these rocks here and then continues down. It gets steep again. Can't really see. It gets steep again there and continues down. So <clears throat> we dug into this space here. Exposed it and um, dug back until we hit smooth rock. The water was coming over the top of that rock. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah, beautiful. I think that was a good decision. And so we dug to that and then we found some good clay in here. We set the clay aside and we dug the rocks, or we set the rocks aside on the other side there, over here, and we dug out a basin. And then we, um, once we felt like we were down to a good level, we dug the, um, we dug a trench and we set in um, this plastic barrage, is what it's called, it's like a plastic dam. And that got set in there, and um, there is a, there's two outlets on this. <clears throat> this the, there's an outlet at the top and an outlet at the bottom. The top outlet is the overflow and this is what you can use as well to um, shock the system if you want to um, uh, put some um, uh, like chlorinated bleach in there to um, to clean it, um, and and then also a, sort of an air uh, air breather there, and then the outlet just goes down onto these rocks, trickles down through there, but that that doesn't flow much during at least it's not going to flow this time of year. Then there's a sorry the overflow um, runs down onto the rocks, and below that is the outlet. So the outlet goes out a one inch pipe and that flows underneath these rocks and then is trenched to a, um, to the spring box. So here's our spring box and um, I will actually just expose it here so you can look in and spring box. Here's the flow coming out of the spring. And right now the spring box is set to just have the, the um, overflow run out. And it goes down the pipe and it goes back to the stream. This is what we'll hook up to to run to a pipeline that will head out along the ridge to the water tank when we get that pipeline. So <clears throat> the dam up here has a uh, impermeable membrane laying over the top of it to prevent any material from getting into it and then it's it's backfilled with a bunch of clean gravel so then we set that membrane over the top of that and then we put gravel and dirt over that and covered it with rocks so it's all all hidden from view and 
protected. So that's the system.